Hey, this is Chaplain Rhonda Harkins. I wanted to share with you a quick word of encouragement today. I hope that you are not listening to fake news all the time. You know that is really a, a way to bring your spirit down really quick. It's kind of like a, hmm, drawing a heavy rock into a lake. It won't take long before that rock sinks to the bottom. That's what bad news does. It causes our hearts to get weighed. You know, you're, you just feel heavy. You feel that oppression because it's an oppressive spirit. And uh, it's not good for us. It's not healthy. It's not good for our, uh, our family to be around, uh, be around us. And it's harder to be encouraged and to be an encouragement to others when you've been listening to fake news. So uh, I also want to say something else though. You can listen to too many news, too much news, even the uh, ones that are trying to report the truth. Uh, be careful. Uh, balance your life with the Word of God and with, with uh, laughter and joy and spending time with people that you love, okay? Get out with some of your, maybe you have some pets. Go for a walk. Get outside. Enjoy. Enjoy your life. So today I had a, a vision and I saw uh, all these people that were kneeling beside this stream of water. There was a lot of them. They were on either side of the stream. And it was like they were lined up person to person kneeling down looking at this water the water was flowing but guess what the water was muddy it was a muddy mess and it was obviously a dirty stream suddenly a man fell over backwards and he began grabbing his eyes saying mud 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 I can't see I can't see and so immediately in the vision I saw myself carrying an Osarka bottle of water <laughs> you know that spring water and it was an Osarka bottle I don't know if that means anything but anyway I run up to him and I open up that water and he's holding on to his eyes and I, I say, here, let me help you. And I poured that water all over his eyes. As that, that mud just started washing away. And as that water touched that mud and started washing it away, because that mud, oh, and listen, the mud wasn't just barely on his eyes. It was caked on. It was like, it, it was like it was dried and caked and been, <laughs> been on his eyes for a while. Anyway, finally that water washed away the mud and the man was so happy. He could see. He was, you know, once I, once I was blind, but now I see. That's what it, that's what it, it probably felt like, you know, like a blindness to, to sight. So I just wanted to tell you that that fake news is a stream of muddy water. And I don't want to see you get your eyes all caked up with the mud and the bad news, the fake news, uh, the deception and the lies. So let the truth set you free. Get in the pure stream of God's word and the truth. Wash away the mud of deception and the mud of lies. You know, if you're an intercessor like I am, and you're or you're a researcher, you like to research history, you like to research about the truth uh, about what's really happening in our nation and in our government and with our leaders, then by all means, bring the fresh water. Bring pictures of the fresh water for all of us. We all need the truth so that we can pray into it. Because we want to see the truth set everyone free, the entire nation free. So, uh, as I was praying over this, the Lord, it's so funny, I started 
singing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can I see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. You know, I can't even remember the words exactly, but, but what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming. Oh, say does that Star Spangled Banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. You know, we've got to see and in the night season, it's always darkest before the dawn. But we've got to be able to stay together even in the night season because the dawn is coming. And we will be able to see our flag rising above all the turmoil and the storm. And it's not going to be a flag of another nation. It's going to be our flag in Jesus name. So I just wanted to share that to you um, today to be sure and guard your heart and please turn off the TV and turn off the internet from watching some of the MSM, the mainstream media. And if you are going to watch the news or read something, goodness, read uh, Epic Times or, uh, oh, I can name so many different ones that I listen to. Uh, but if you really want to be encouraged, listen to someone who's hearing the voice of God because His voice is definitely over all other voices. And may we hear him loud and clear and be encouraged and walk in faith. God bless you.